What advice would you have for someone who's still trying to figure out what they want to focus on and find their calling? It is a very interesting question because I got, I was very, very lucky in that I, um, I found what I wanted to do. It, it was, it was accident, just totally accident. But I do think, I do think you know it when you see it and it doesn't mean you can follow it. I would tell the students as I wrote in the report, I mean, you know, find out what you love doing it. You spend most of your life doing it. And that, uh, why in the world would you want to be uh, around for a lifetime uh, working with people that you didn't like unless you had to, which sometimes happens. And uh, uh, just work for whomever you admire the most. And uh, I gave the talk at Stanford one time and Somebody showed up at Tom Murphy's office, I think, <laughs> a couple of days later. I mean, that person was right. And of course, it's what I did when I got out of school. I, I wanted to work for Ben Graham. I mean, that, that is, I just, I didn't care what I got paid. It didn't make any, you know, I'm, it just, it's, I just knew that that's what I wanted to do. And then I pestered him for three years and he finally hired me. Uh, and then I found somebody else that I'd even rather work for than Ben, who happened to be myself, <laughs> and, uh, so 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 I've been working for myself ever since. But but I could give that young lady the advice: figure out what you're bad at and avoid all of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the way Warren and I found our provision. Absolutely, we yeah we we failed at everything else. We worked at everything till we found the ideal employers ourselves, <laughs> you know, and that, that was an organ, that was something we really admired. Was <laughs> I know, one said work for somebody you admire. <laughs> the only one he knew was the one he was shaving. self -employed. You see when he was shaving. <laughs> well, if you stop to think about it, the two, two things that neither one of us has ever succeeded at, one, we've never succeeded at anything that didn't interest us, right? Right. And we've never succeeded at anything that was really hard where we didn't have much aptitude for it. And we get, you know, we have fun in our way. And I'm just amazed. You'd think if you're smart, you could do things that don't interest you well, but you can't. Well, I've certainly got a lot of examples in my own case, but we won't get into them here. <laughs>